Nelvana's 1977 cartoon, A Cosmic Christmas, left a footprint on my psyche. It's a relatively low-budget Christmas special about three aliens who come to Earth to learn the meaning of Christmas. They're aliens, but it's pretty obvious they're supposed to be the three magi, and their quest is a repeat of the Eastern wise men seeking out the birth of Jesus. And it's a curious choice. These magi, who seem to be divinely inspired to seek out the Christmas star, naively navigate Earth with no concept of what Christ means. Maybe not so far from the sages described by the book in Matthew, guys who wandered into a hot political zone just looking for enlightenment, but landed in a country full of infanticide and paranoia. Everybody in the town they land in is pretty much awful. The mayor, the sheriff, the kids, even the charity collection volunteers. Our hero is Peter, a kid with a goose for a pet, who's harassed by everyone in town. Until Peter and Marvin, the local bully, both fall through the ice on the local lake. The whole town suddenly comes together to save them. And it's a moment that recalls the teachings of the Chinese sage Mencius. If a child is crawling towards a well, any human will rush to stop him from falling into it. The aliens eventually decide to join the rescue effort, although it breaks their prime directive. As simplistic as this film's resolution might be, the real question lingers. If Marvin and his gang steal Peter's goose to fill their bellies, why were they starving to begin with? They look like they may be homeless, or at least happier to freeze hungrily on the street than to be at home. The townsfolk all band together with the aliens to save Marvin from dying in the lake, but why didn't they band together to save Marvin from dying in their town? Nelvana was a small studio, and I don't want to run them down for the terrible sound mixing, editing, and humor. They are responsible for the first appearance of Boba Fett in the Star Wars Christmas special. I will concede that the alien sidekick Snurk could be dropped out of this movie and I would not shed a tear, but there's something haunting in all of the Nelvana specials, even Romeo and Juliet. I did an earlier review of The Devil and Daniel Mouse saying that it scarred me for life, and in the case of A Cosmic Christmas, it warmed me for life, which few movies can do. That's partly because this crudely animated movie has an ethereal beauty. The Christmas star, the stuttering hallucinogenic movements of the three magi, the magnetic glam of the bully Marvin. This movie movie is up there with Miyazaki for haunting imagery. Now initially you'll probably disagree, the setup with all the townspeople behaving horribly is full of shouting caricatures, but that vulgarity is necessary to set up the townspeople's redemption at the end. They are ugly and it is all very 1970s, but unless we see how ugly the townspeople are, their beauty may not carry the load. When you look at Christmas specials, the ones that endure, endure for a reason. A Charlie Brown Christmas rails against the commercialization of one of our most sacred holidays. Rudolph teaches kids that being yourself matters, especially in the face of crippling normalization. I'm not sure what the modern holiday specials are doing, nor which will become classics, and if I'm honest, I'm also a fan of Christmas stories in which very little happens. The Night Before Christmas, The Snowy Day, The Snowman. You don't need a lot of plot to celebrate a holiday whose biggest anthems are Silent Night and Jingle Bells. There is a schmaltzy scene where Peter's grandmother reminisces to the aliens about Christmases of the past. Schmaltz is actually a major part of Christmas. You always love hanging the ornaments that have nostalgic meaning for you. The Christmas dinner you had 30 years ago is always going to be the best one you ever had. Christmas is a holiday based on making future memories, which we'll look back on even while we're making the new memories today. Probably in 10 years, Peter will be boring his own kids with stories about that time the aliens came to town. This odd Canadian Christmas ode to love, family, and forgiveness haunts me. It's on YouTube and elsewhere, and I strongly encourage encourage you to seek it out.